Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Annie Miraj Kitwa and thank you so much for stopping by to this YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like and share if you enjoy the content, educational content that we share on this channel and you can also visit vertexasolution.com. So I'm going to talk about mental state today in this video lecture. This is going to be very beneficial for all of you out there who are willing to uh, study for um, a philosophy or psychology or uh, human behavior in general so this is going to be really beneficial and in fact even in literature as well so when you are interpreting uh, texts or uh, understanding uh, human perspectives from the point from the reference point of the uh, perspective of emotion or thought we all talk about thoughts a lot Therefore, it's important that we must go to the origin and go into the detail of those, understanding how that emerged and can reflect in interpretations of the state of mind or mental state. So I have already uh, made a lot of videos. If you go and check the channel playlist, I made videos on human psychology, clinical psychology, human behavior, soft skills, training and development and various other topics you will find on this channel and of course hybrid learning and artificial intelligence so we'll keep posting you on the same and this is going to be i would say the presentation which is an am amalgamation of everything so it's going to help you in the counseling it's going to help you in your competitive exams it's going to help you in your philosophy exams it's going to help you in your um uh psychology exams or psychology as a subject or understanding human behavior or understanding about yourself in general to develop your self professionally or on a personal level as well so i hope this is going to be really really beneficial share it with your family and friends and watch this video till the end for more information about mental state so what is mental state it's a very basic definition which I've uh, written here that mental states encompasses a range of psychological conditions and experiences. So in a very broader term, we can say that mental state is your state of mind. Okay, in what kind of a state of mind you are and that state of mind is directly the outcome of one the psychological condition and two the experience based on those conditions or the um, outcome of experiences as a psychological condition so that is your mental state so we will break it down and understand more about it that what is a mental state how can we understand different types of mental state the role and how it develops our life and many more other things surrounding it so if we want to understand the type of mental state it's important that we must go in the minute details regarding the surrounding factors of a mental state so how can you understand mental state from your thought process okay so the most important thing to understand is what is your thought and thought is basically based on emotion and also a perception about anything or a perspective about anything so how you perceive any information or how you perceive your environment or surroundings so that creates also a thought and develops a belief so your mental state can be categorized or can be classified into thoughts emotions beliefs perceptions right so these are your types of mental state in what kind of a mental state you are into for instance you just let's take let's take a very minute example if i am reading a philosopher so i'm reading the philosopher's beliefs 
I'm reading the philosopher's principles. I'm reading the philosopher's idea. I'm reading the philosopher's emotions. I'm reading the philosopher, how he thinks and enables people to think. Right? So that developed a, an emotion in me and that emotion as, as an outcome developed a thought in me. And that thought is my mental state because that thought enables me to think about anything. And when I'm thinking about anything, ladies and gentlemen, I am developing idea, critical thinking, creativity, innovation, because the ability to think is directly involving you for an outcome. Because when you think something, that means you are planning, strategizing, finding probabilities, most likely outcome for an action. And that is your mental state. So what type of mental state you are into right now? Another, this is a very positive or a structured uh, side of the mental state I'm discussing. Now, the other point can be, for example, if any factor around your life had influenced your psychological condition and a person is into anxiety because or probably a person is suffering from anxiety disorder or in general there is some anxiety because of any fear or personality of individuals or other health issues so there are there can be mul multiple factors also uh, regarding your mental state so the anxiety which you have developed because of any trigger now that trigger can be any trigger it can be a fear it can be sadness it can be you know a loss of something so that triggered in anxiety in you and that anxiety develops again a thought in you and that thought how that thought is what is the quality of that thought that classify into mental state as well that a person is into what kind of a mental state is it productive it's going towards the positive or it's going towards the negative so that's how we can classify between both uh, the type of mental state positive or negative let's move ahead so there are some examples here to understand mental state so the first is that you're feeling anxious okay before a job interview so this is emotion you're feeling anxious about something or you are feeling happy or you are feeling uh, happy in a situation if, if it's your birthday and people are greeting you you got a promotion and you feel happy that's an emotion that's your mental state believing in the importance of honesty that you believe that honesty is very important you believe that truth is paramount for humanity you you believe that that's your belief system and your belief is your mental state so you want truth should be the center stage the tr truth sh there should be uh, honesty honesty and trustworthiness as a as a um, quality in human life and Truth should be paramount. So that's a belief system. It's a belief you have. And that also uh, amplifies your actions with that respect. So that's your mental state. Another is intending to exercise regularly for better, better health. That's an intention, right? So you, you think that if I will, uh, you know, uh, exercise, if I will exercise, regularly so my health will be better so this is the intention right perceiving a piece of abstract art differently based on personal preferences so that's a perception that how you are interpreting anything you know you are you're reading a poem for instance and you read that poem and every individual has a different perception with that respect and they interpret according to what their mental state is you are getting my point. So if somebody has written a poem, for instance, a poet has written a poem about love, about hatred, 
about relationship, about an emotion and whatever emotion a poet is writing it. Your interpretation of that poetry is your mental state. It's not important that it's you are interpreting exactly how the poet is perceiving anything. Your perception may differ because your mental state may differ. So, perceptions can be differing here. Now, the last is desiring to travel to exotic destinations. So, it's a desire. So, there's a difference between a want and a desire. Desire is something which you wish and want is your necessity or need. So, there's a huge difference between a desire and a need also. That's also your mental state. I hope this is clear. Thank you so very much for watching this video till the end and I hope you got some insights about mental state. So to know more about us, please log in at vertexthesolution.com and you will find all the details about us there. Thank you. And you can also follow us on social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to this channel, share and like these videos so that we can uh, propagate more awareness on education and collaborate with like-minded people. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.